My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This is day 22 of the COVID outbreak in Ireland, and I'm reading Psalm 22. This psalm seems incredibly relevant at a time of national and international crisis. All that is normal in society has been turned upside down. and Many are fearful, unsure of how it will all unfold. Many feel that God has abandoned us. Others say that it just confirms their beliefs that he's not there at all. The opening words of this psalm are best known as the words that were spoken by Jesus while he was dying on the cross. The first two verses read, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Written more than a thousand years before Christ, this psalm incredibly describes the symptoms of a crucified man. The pierced hands and feet, the raging thirst, the bones out of joint, the mocking crowd. At first sight, these words seem like words of despair, the, the desperate cry of a defeated man. I'm sure there are many today who have felt like that as the pandemic has taken its toll on communities all around the globe. Certainly, if all we can see is the here and now, it is a very understandable feeling. But as we read on, we see that this psalm is not a cry of despair at all, but a defiant statement of faith and trust in the steadfast love of God, who sees not just the here and now, but the global and eternal. While we cannot see past today, God knows the end from the beginning. Even as Jesus was dying on the cross, his thoughts turned to this psalm, which goes on to say, O Lord, do not stay far away. You are my strength. Come quickly to my aid. Even in his apparently hopeless state, he knows that his life on earth is but a fleeting moment and that soon he will be with his father again. So he can say with confidence, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. For he has not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but has listened to their cries for help. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts rejoice with everlasting joy. All through this psalm, as Jesus knew well, God is honoured. It says the whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and, and return to him. All the families of the nations will bow down before him. This is what gives Jesus the confidence to say before he dies, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Maybe in this time of crisis, as we become painfully aware of our own fragile mortality, many will come to know him and return to him. Perhaps today your cry is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But maybe tomorrow you will proclaim his name to your brothers and sisters and you will praise him among the assembled peoples once again. May God bless you and keep you.